At the crack of dawn, the campus of the National Defense Academy comes alive. Columns of cadets charge out to the quarterdeck, chanting their drill commands. The chorus resonates across the stillness of the campus. India has the third largest army, fourth largest air force, and the seventh largest navy in the world. This is the world's first tri-service training academy that creates gentlemen and warriors. Welcome to the NDA. The National Defense Academy is a premier training institute for building a strong foundation for future leaders of the defense forces. Karak Basla, a suburb of the city of Pune, houses the NDA, the cradle for leadership. Originally, Dehradun was suggested as the site for the creation of the academy, but this was changed to Karakmasla. The new location offered a variable geography best suited for the training. Of the 2,100 cadets enrolled here, cadets for the army predominate. This is the story of five cadets as they make their way through the final term of NDA to become officers and gentlemen. My name is SCC Katya and Mishra. I belong to Allahabad. I am uh, Academic Air Captain J.S. Suman. I belong to Bangalore. I am Cadet J.V. Singh Chauhan and I belong to Kangra, Himachal Pradesh. My name is uh, B.C. Krishna Nuni. I am from Romeo Scon. I belong to Kollam from Kerala. My name is A.C. Vishaldia. I belong to a village road which is in Haryana. As my great-grandfather, my grandfather and my father, all three of them served in the Indian Armed Forces. So I was given an obvious choice to choose this profession of arms. After I joined RMC, being into the army environment, it is basically a fit institute for India. My father's in the forces, so I've seen the, I've seen the lifestyle here. And that is basically what attracted me to the forces, and I had a fascination for flying. I got this motivation from my school principal. Unfortunately, my brother was not able to make it to NDA, so I had to just try what it is like and uh, how tough it is. That's why I decided to join this place. A fresh batch of cadets has arrived with dreams in their eyes. There is also some degree of apprehension. The three-year course at NDA is divided into six terms, two terms per year. Every six months of the nearly 300,000 cadets that take the entrance examinations, 350 to 400 make it to the academy. First day when I came here, I was completely surprised by seeing these big buildings, monuments here. I have never seen in my life such huge infrastructure. After that, these cones were distributed and we all were sent back to take haircuts. Next up, the barber shop. The regulation military crew cut is a radical transformation for some. It's the first step towards the rigors of military training. I'm a big football fan, so I used to have all those kind of haircuts, you know, like home styles and all that. So when I came to the academy and I was told that I have to have a haircut, I was at first surprised. Then they took me to the barber shop and I just closed my eyes and when I opened them, I was shocked. And then my dad saw me and he kept on laughing for the first half an hour. The basic aim is to have the uniformity, you know, so that everyone has the same haircut. At the NDA, every cadet is assigned to one of the squadrons. The squadron becomes the cadet's home away from home. 
It's a melting pot where lifelong bonds of camaraderie are forged. Every squadron has a nickname, an individual identity, a mascot, and a rich history. The first night was very really difficult because it was the first night without their parents, without their friends. So I was missing all of them. Uh, but slowly I got used to the academy, got used to the routine. My overstudy was like a father here. He supported me in everything. He taught me everything, how to dress up, how to eat, how to manage your time, training schedule and everything. Kilo! Each squadron has a different style of calling out cadets and making announcements. The junior cadets act as human alarm clocks, reminding their mates of the day's activities. The squadrons symbolize team spirit. A regular morning in the squadrons begins with a morning muster, with cadets reading out the honor code. In the center of India's National Defense Academy campus are the headquarters of its leadership, housed in the Sudan bloc. The building was constructed with a donation to honor the sacrifices made by Indian troops in the liberation of Sudan during early World War II. It was with the building of the Sudan block at the core of the campus that the formation of the academy shaped up. The idea of creating the NDA for joint services training was conceived after the Second World War to bring about greater synergy in the armed forces. So the, in 1949, it was then uh, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru actually laid the foundation stone uh, in Kharkwasla, and in 1955 this was actually commissioned. And uh, this unique institution today is a pride not only of this country but also for the uh, various other countries which send their uh, cadets for the training. The cadets have gathered in the drill square for a rigorous session of training. It is a highly demanding workout, imposed by a team of specially designated instructors, the drill studs. These instructors are non-commissioned officers tasked with turning undergraduate boys into military officers. The need for implicit obedience to orders is hammered home over and over again. A horse-mounted adjutant keeps a watchful eye on the parade ground. J.S. Suman, the academy cadet captain, receives special training. He will be leading the parade at the end of term passing out ceremony. Drill, किसी भी काम है जो भी काम आप कर रहे हैं उसको तर्तीब वार करना ही एक ड्रिल होता है कैडेट या वो सैनिक कैसा यूनिफॉर्म पहन रहा है उसके बाद उनको बातचीत करने का तरीका मार्चिंग का तरीका ही बताना उनके लिए ड्रिल है उस्तादों का काम है उनके उनका जो टर्न आउट को ठीक करना कहीं कोई बटन इधर उधर तो नहीं है कोई मार्किंग इधर तो नहीं है सारा चीज का जो रोल है वो ड्रिल उस्ताद के अंदर दिया जाता है Physical training and fitness is a prerequisite to being a part of the armed forces. A cadet's daily regimen is designed to build agility, endurance and stamina. The training course is spread over three years and executed under the guidance of qualified physical training instructors. After the early morning drill and physical training, the cadets march off to the mess to restore their energy.
The NDA mess is a logistics marvel. It is Asia's largest mess where 2,100 cadets can be served together. The staff is trained to serve the full hall of cadets in less than 40 minutes. The food served here is part of a special diet with all the necessary nutrition to stay fighting fit. The dining hall also serves as a training ground of another kind, where special attention is paid to table manners and etiquette. Excuse me, sir. May I have a permission to sit? Please sit. To become a gentleman, you should know how to sit, how to eat. Because as you grow further in your service, you are going to be uh, seated with some officer and eating with him. All these manners are taught here. If we dine together, we, we have the camaraderie level in us. So obviously that is imbibed right from the first term itself. So you have you have breakfast, lunch, dinner, all, all with your course mates, your seniors and juniors. Academics are an integral part of the NDA with dedicated academic blocks for arts, science and service related training. Since its inception, the curriculum has evolved manifold. Cadets now pass out of the academy with graduate degrees in science and arts. The NDA also offers cadets the chance to study a number of foreign languages. With changing geopolitical realities, languages like Arabic have become popular. Foreign language is indeed very important because these days we are interacting with international armies. We are having joint exercises and we are also having uh, we are also going outside as the delegates. So it's always a uh, first impression that if you know the language, there will be a good one. Foreign languages in India, we have many like Chinese, Arabic, French. In the final term, cadets are educated in specific subjects according to their chosen field. So any query? How do we represent a line in vector data form? Not only by raster, but also by vector we can represent whatever information that we have into the digital format. So a military warfare class for sixth term army cadets is in session. And desperately crying for help. Theory classes form the backbone of practical training and are essential to their learning process. The blindness created by intense light is not much of our concern. Apart from the normal BSc degree that we get, we are taught in foundation course for military, uh, which teaches us a lot of things like service writing, the military bearing, how to talk to our seniors, Plus in our fifth and sixth term, we start studying uh, service subjects. Like I'm an Air Force cadet, so we start sub, uh, studying aerodynamics, metrology, avionics, navigation. Motivation is a driving force at the NDA. Cadets seek motivation from their course mates and seniors to get through their rigorous routine in class and on the field. These cadets of Bravo Squadron have been summoned to the anteroom to discuss their progress and to push them to work harder for their squadron. I want all of you to sweat out all through this term. Seniors take upon themselves the task of grooming and mentoring their juniors, keeping the squadron spirit high. And remember, Bravo! Jai! Bravo! Mai! Bravo! Mai! How is the Josh? Discipline is the foundation of training at India's National Defence Academy. The cadets in the Foxtrot Squadron are preparing for their dress inspection, where their uniforms and rigs will be thoroughly checked. The inspection is conducted by the squadron commander. Each squadron at the NDA aims to earn top scores at such inspections. The points earned add up to the squadron's collective score. At the end of the term, these scores will win one squadron the championship banner. NDA is a place where leadership is taught on ground. In our junior terms, when we come here, we are led by someone and we are motivated by some senior. 
and when we come to the senior terms, we have learned enough from our seniors so that we can apply them for our juniors and make them better soldiers. In defense also, there's the same system. Initially, you will be under a leader. You should know how to follow his orders, stick to that. And later, you should know how to lead your men. If you're marching alone and if you come across an officer on the street, you will just do dine or buy salute. The best performing cadets in the fifth and sixth term of the final year are presented with ranks and titles referred to as appointments. Each of these appointments has to follow hierarchy, much like in the armed forces. The appointed cadets assist in the efficient running of the academy, instructing junior cadets, motivating and guiding them. Cadets J.S. Suman and Vishal Thaya have been summoned to the adjutant's office for the passing of orders. So the clearance for all the juniors first put Thomas for Habibullah Hall on 18th is going to be 1730 hours. Cadet J.S. Suman is the Academy Cadet Captain or ACC, the highest rank in the NDA for any cadet. Cadet Vishal Thaya is a close second with the title of Academy Cadet Adjutant or ACA. In this, their final term, both these cadets are responsible for commanding the 2,100 cadets at the NDA. Ultimately, the aim of this academy.